You remember us? We're friends, right? I'm just gonna put my foot in the stirrup and climb up, okay? I need to figure out how to go forward. It's as simple as pressing forward than joystick. Hey, what do you think, Ashki? We're doing pretty good, huh? That horse is gonna have to tell me your secret. Listen, I'm headed over to the pasture to tend the churros. You wanna come? Sure. Let's go then. <laughs> yeah. So are is Native American game facts written in ASCII code? That's that's where I'm going. Yeah. I love this horse's name. <laughs> I'm not letting go. J just when I was talking about this place being big, now we're out to explore it. I think David Cage got jealous of that one of one of the segments that happens in I believe Uncharted 3 where it has a huge sprawling desert landscape because this sure looks like he was trying to get there. Not quite as detailed, but it goes on for a while. Easily the biggest environment you explore in the game. It's got to be. Everything else is like <laughs> inside the buildings. I know you don't want to talk about it. But I really need to know what happened last night. And the ghosts that surround the house. I mean, do you know who they are? My father says five spirit guardians have always protected our tribe. They come at night to prevent Yotso from killing us. I don't know if it's true, but Yeetso has never managed to get into our house. And despite all this, I mean, your father never, never wanted to just leave? No. For him, the spirit is just part of the land. It's like the rocks or the desert sand. It's something you can't change, so you have to learn to live with it. My turn to ask you some questions. What are you really doing out here in the middle of the desert? It feels like you're running away from something. I guess I'm just trying to forget. You know, make a new start. Maybe I'm just running away from myself. You're like us. You also have your dark secret, don't you, Jody? I, um... I have to tell you something. I... Oh, she's there. The bed bar is shut. I eat on. She in the dish. That was Paul. There's no water at the ranch. Something must be up with the well. I'm gonna have a look on my way back. I can go take a look if you want. Uh, don't know if you'll be able to do much. I'll do what I can. But where's the well? Uh, it's over there. It's got a windmill. Shouldn't be hard to find. Okay. I'll see you back at the ranch. Okay. See you later. They speak really fluent accent free English, considering, but then they all speak the secondary language also, or their pr their primary language. I wonder what the, what use they have for English a lot of the time. They don't. I don't know if they go anywhere. Maybe that's just the regular thing. I don't know. There we go, there's the gallop. It's a little finicky about when it wants to listen to you. Let's find out why the water's not working. Oh, 
And that's a substantial enough landmark. Clearly. The windmill probably is supposed to be working, huh? Minor detail. It's probably not supposed to be like that. There we go. Oh, More whoa. Wagon. The pump's running again. That, that picked up real fast. Alright, well. Is that all we need to do here? There's a building over here. Let's go have a look-see. What do you got over here? It's a... Oh, it's a mud hut. With a very short door. <laughs> Almost, I can almost see it being a ritualistic thing of like you're. It's it's a, the door is short because you you're supposed to bow as you enter, so if so you're forced. I kind of wonder how this comes across if you are Native American and you play this chapter. I think it's made by a French guy, so I'd be curious about how much insight he has about this entire culture. Is there anything around here? I'm trying to have a look around. It's a cool little location, but I don't think there's a lot to do. Well. The visions are becoming more vivid. And the Native American spirits are also speaking in English. Or writing in English. Alright. Might as well take a look then. What does crown re re actually uh, relate to? Question is here, am, am I supposed to find a crown? Or is there a crown landmark? Like crown rock, perhaps? Or the crown of the desert? If only I could get around this fast in my actual geology trips. With a convenient horse. That would save me some serious time. Alright, we're looking for something. We're not really running, we're not really running in a straight line from where the icon was at this point. Hello. Oh, Fort Crown. That's probably important. Well, we've got shinies. At least two shiny things over here. Let's investigate. There it is. See anything I did? Per oh yeah. Nailed it with one hand. I don't even need the other one.
The dreaded Why white man. The soldiers in the fort? Could it be Yezo? Definitely a second one back here. Oh, the hat. That's still in one piece after all this time. The desert was kind to this article of clothing. That was a bona fide. Whoa, I guess they teleported me back to the horse. They want, they want me out of these ruins. Is there nothing else around? Oh, well, I can go super far away from her here. Are there. Oh! Is there an elevated spirit potential? Or something? Can I just snatch this from here? Is she, oh, she, is she gonna teleport to it? Oh, that's convenient. That's really convenient. But yeah, that somehow these objects have been here in the desert through multiple storms and haven't moved. Straightforward enough, just another dropped item. Item. There's probably not more story to be gained here. There might be another vision somewhere, but it's probably just another image of the struggle. And the conflict, but not necessarily anything happening. Alright, so let's go find the forked tree. There he is. There he is. You were hiding from me, boy. Well, I kind of wandered off. Game's definitely in a hurry to ferry you off the moment you find the, the clue about the uh, tree. It's like, get out of here, go get it! To the point where it, it that's apparently the only, I guess that's the only time it teleports the horse for you. If you make the mistake of one of uh, checking out something else, you're like, nope, you're on your own now. Orient yourself. Just keep an eye out for sound for uh, sand raiders. Sound raiders. There's a there's an unannounced har harmonics game. <laughs> Probably a safe bet. We got inscriptions in the ground. Oh, hello. Go look at that. Who keeps drawing this inscription over and over again? Because it couldn't stay here in all the, sta the sandstorms. Seems like a hell of a leap to go to. If there's five ghosts that guard the place from the horrible spirit, maybe you shouldn't be digging them up. This one has no talisman.
baby's neck. Help me, Aiden. I've got to see what happened. I mean, that, that blanket looked pretty familiar to me. God, it all went by too fast. I, I didn't understand it. It's, it's just all mixed up. It's as if something's missing. Show the talismans to Paul. Maybe he'll know something. Feels like I'm Commander Shepard all of a sudden. I'm getting visions, but I can't piece them together. Uh oh. Did you just guys get us in deep shit? You pl you played with the remains of you. You just played with an Indian burial ground, and now we're getting attacked by supernatural forces. I think you've made a horrible mistake. What if they don't show up now because you've pulled out their talismans and now th now they don't defend the castle the house castle? We were closer than I thought we'd be. We came here in broad daylight. We tried to get to the house. Oh. Tori, get the car! Come on, come on, come on, start! Start already, goddammit! It won't start, Jay! It won't start! Oh, the entity's coming back. We've got to get to the house. I don't think that's gonna help. There's nothing else we can do. My father told you you can't fight a spirit. But I can. All right, let's get inside. Oh, oh. I had direct control of the camera and it totally changed the context there for a moment. All right, well, he's in trouble. I have the ability to deal with that kind of thing. Oh, he's real messed up. I'm sorry, Paul. It's all my fault. I stirred up old memories. I never should have come here. I never bring anything good with me. There's ways to deal with this, come on. Careful. Careful. Well, he's breathing, at least. He probably helped out. Alright, Ishwari. That blanket sure looks familiar to me.
ancestors. They summoned Yeitsu here. They were lost, full of hatred for the white man. They bring spirit, they kill their enemies, and gain revenge. Turned against them. He was still hungry, hungry for blood. Yeah, Itsu is back. He has come to take our lives. We're your ancestors. They're the guardians who protect the house, right? They know they were gods. They returned to protect us from the evil that they released. If they brought the entity here, I mean, there's gotta be some way to send it back to its own world. They used a ritual to open the passage. I still remember the incantation, but the ritual is lost. I saw the ritual in my vision. I'll prepare it and you can help me with the incantation. Hurry! He's coming. Oh yeah, we're gonna have an old school banishing spell. Let's go. The fire. I have to make a fire in the front of the house. I need a stick and three of your best men. Yeah, that'll work. They're trying so hard to board up the windows from the outside. We've never seen them do that so far. They must think this one's especially bad. What the hell? That escalated suddenly. She suddenly got very dramatic and desperate. Pretty sure I said the, the wrong name earlier. Did I call her Ishwana? <laughs> what is that from? Uh, it's man shape. That's it. Now the talismans. I have to remember where each of the medicine man stood. And go. Yep. That's it. We've got the five souls. She must have to start the incantation now. Push it away. I can't really see my symbols here. There we go. 
It's hard to see the particles of the little purple things here. <laughs> All right, how many fingers and toes does everyone have left? I'm taking you. My people have buried our dead there for many hundreds of years. For us, it's sacred land. Well, after we go there, there still will have never been a white man there. Thanks for noticing. So how many bodies? This, the reaction indicates that Shimishani's dead. I got the blanket. Any sign of the father? Someone else, it looks like someone else is already here. Oh, two horses. That's gotta be the brother and the dad. Unless they were using it to carry a body. I can't help but imagine there was some kind of prophecy like, You will never speak again until the day that you die. Well, here's a cool sight. little area that where the you'd be protected from the wind and so on all right so the father's definitely alive then there he is unless they pull some kind of ghost trick on me these are the bones of your ancestors sure they would have wanted to be buried alongside their own people. Take a look around here a little bit. It's a pretty cool location. Unfortunately, that's not a very deep grave, so there might be a coyote that's having grandma for dinner. I know, inappropriate. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello? Where was that exactly? Somewhere around here? Oh, climbing spot. I'm a little surprised they're letting me wander around unattended around here. They seem protected to this place. Oh, wasn't ready for that to happen. This cave is filled with highly combustible air. That, that is not providing any light. So it's decided. You're leaving? There's things I have to do. You know, I... I used to think that my gift was a curse. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I can use it to help people. Find out who I really am. You did a lot for us, Joy. For us and the, the memory of our people. I don't know how to thank you. If you don't find what you're looking for, come back here. We have a home. I'm gonna miss you. Me too, Corey. I'll never forget you. Ashki is going to be very sad without you. But one day I'll come back and see him. It's yours. It's the least we can do to thank you. Thanks. <laughs> oh yeah, motorcycle number two. They really try to slip those romance options in there, don't they? You've known this guy for two, di two, 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 two days now. You're in love now, right? You are? You've had two conversations with him. She showed up again. Still though, it's like your first chance to be in a household where people accept you, uh, your abilities without trying to either uh, hide them away or experiment on you. Let's see. I hadn't explored the house, 69%. That's a very specific thing to measure. 91% of people did not repair the... You can repair the bike? When? It must have been like in a, a free roaming part maybe? I imagine when I went, went to help with the horse, I may, have, I may have had the option to help other people with stuff. Interesting. A huge number of people tell the truth to Jay in that little conversation. It's a surprisingly unanimous response. I'm in the majority on, on, a, on a surprisingly large number of these right now. Completed the ritual, 91%. Oh, people have messed that up, apparently. I'm apparently I'm one of the few that didn't venture outside. 
must they must mean for the first night because I definitely did for the second night. That's what happened. Oh. Apparently, half of people fail to escape the spirit when they're fighting it. Oh, and 71% of people leave Paul to die. They don't switch to Iden to, to heal him. Whoops. And looks like I'm in the slight majority hugging instead of kissing, I assume is the other option that they're contrasting it against. It's, yeah, it's slightly weird to escalate to romantic options that quickly. You, you, there are people you've known for like two days. Specifically weird that you only have the option to do that with Jay, but not with the other character that was actually nice to you the entire time, instead of just in the last two conversations. <laughs>